people can have doubts in their minds. If you're in a wheelchair, you can't have kids, or you can't be in a relationship, or you can't be in a career, or you can't be an actor. You just all these can't, 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 can'ts. But like, what if I try? I work for, the, for brand and marketing. I'm a communication strategist. So I try to look into some accessibility issues. Because of my um, injury, because of my disability, I'm not really the person who will go for a nine to five job or would be able to really handle that. Um, so the fact that I'm able to work remotely is huge and just like makes it possible. I've been acting um, since I was quite young and after sustaining a spinal cord injury through a really bad car crash, I kind of had to rediscover what the possibilities were there and so I ended up going to school and getting a master's in theatre and film, proving to a lot of people that I could still act and perform. I've been battling, I guess, um, discrimination and trying to find accessibility in theater and performance and the academic world and just pushing barriers for for like all through my academic career um, and then some. I'm part of a docu-series called Push. They wanted to bring people from the disability world, from wheelchair living and bring it to television. So it was one of the first and only shows that has a fully disabled cast. I was actually going to be hired for Push to be on the script side of things originally. But at the moment when they were interviewing me, I mentioned that I had, was currently pregnant and I happened to be a quadriplegic. So cards flipped and they wanted me on camera instead of behind camera. After my work with Push, the documentary series. Um, I was introduced to Kello, an inclusive modeling agency. Through them, um, I actually got to model for a Lancome product in Paris. So that was, that was huge. And it was one of those kind of aha moments where it's like, you know, it's still possible and the world um, is changing. Traveling is really stressful with my with all the equipment, and the the airline actually did um, break my wheelchair. But I mean, I'm a survivor. I've learned to survive. You just figure it out. I actually was laughing when when they told me that it happened because, of course, like these things, they just happen to me. That is just how it goes. I was able to get a degree and perform as the first person in a wheelchair on the stage at the university. I was able to have a baby as a quad mom. I was able to model in, in Paris for Lancome. You never have to take no for an answer. You can keep trying. Um, I think that it's also important not to judge a, judge a person, judge a book by their cover. Don't put limits on someone. Um, and especially don't limit yourself.